first, I want to take a slight detour, if you'll indulge me with your patented forbearance, Jordan. Um, there is a lot of talk in the zeitgeist about artificial intelligence and the dangers at which artificial intelligence will pose to humanity. Some say it's worse than nuclear war. Elon Musk has said such things. Um, others worry about more pedestrian, but still more important things like loss of jobs and, and meaning and, and so forth uh, is very important to human psychology. Um, I'm not so worried about artificial intelligence, and I'll tell you why. The reason relates to this famous gentleman, Albert Einstein. We've mentioned him three or four times already. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with what Einstein called his happiest thought, Jordan. Einstein called the uh, a Gedanken experiment, a thought experiment that he alone did for the first time. And the following was conjectured by the great uh, Einstein. He said that somebody, if he was falling, if he was in an elevator and the cable broke, God forbid, and the elevator start to fall, fall, that person would experience no gravitational force. It's called the Einstein equivalence principle. He called that the happiest thought of his life. Now, what does that have to do with curvature and so on? Well, it turns out, and artificial intelligence. Let me first detour back to artificial intelligence. Jordan, can I ask you, how do you expect an, a computer or an artificial general intelligence could interpret these two phenomena, free fall, the visceral, human-centered experience of free fall, A, and B, have a happiest thought. I want to ask you, actually, I'm sorry to turn the tables on you. Uh, for me, that gives me great comfort because it really is occurring in the human mind, the human brain, another thing that is of infinite complexity and possibly forbidden to our understanding behind an ignorance horizon like the Big Bang. But Jordan, does that give you any solace? Because to me, it's a great comfort that it took a mind, something trapped in the wet supercomputer, if you will, on top of our shoulders operating at room temperature. How can a computer experience a visceral sensation, if possible? And how could it ever associate happiness with it? 